I have also argued certain very important matters which have laid down law and also been published in journals across the country. Upheld by the Supreme Court is also known in the legal circles. The kind of respect I give to the courts and the courts give to me is also known. And I think that I carry that same kind of a decorum when I enter the assembly. I don't have a political background as a legislator. And therefore, I may be sh having a shortfall or a shortcoming to do things which many others would do. But I'm proud that what I do is for the good of the people and the good of God. People have faith in me. My voters trusted me and they elected me to the house. You know that Amka election Zatri Ami Assembly Noita Tanna Loka Bawatasa Ami Kite Kotle Ami Kit Santole Ani Bore Ghost Manun Kat Ami Race Kotle So Glenche Isho Amka Dardona Tinga Ek Drama Kopa Ek Natok Kurpa of Forty Marpa. People, not only my constituency and every constituent of every other MLA is watching his MLA perform. The Goan electorate and the Goan citizen, people of Goa are watching. The nation watches and even Goans overseas and even friends and others who are not even Indian nationals will be watching what we do. So we have a higher sense of responsibility. When we step in the August house to put facts right, if you want to tell law, you should tell law correctly. You should not mislead the house. And you should be truthful and honest. Now on this, why did Wenzi Viegas get upset? Wenzi Viegas and I, Dapil Tuka, Ami Start Kelletan, the video Dapila, he said, the recourse for amendments of the code is by way of Article 652. And imagine, A. 1526 code it has to be brought by means of article 652 of the code which has not been done in the right manner <coughs> CMN Maka Insalla. What is the position on Article 652? And it did not overall, Muget Chance National Europa, but overall, Kita Maka Insalla. I need a kind of a kit toy sangla. I sangla 652 does not come in the way of the House making an amendment. I additional any kit sangla. Tode loka, I'm gonna take up. I am told that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. I am told that the people who are the 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 one, I article 652. There is a correct interpretation. Dilla dekhon. Top bejala. on the floor of the house zap karna dena. Kita aao samda magdista teke monan kai na shille. Unte kya sa fatle na. Back bencher the. Te te ko zaina so pa dusne che success. Then, then a monan azuna ha the old regime tokle na ha. Ani the aao parasamda aao komnidad itle komnidad jaje aao shareholder. Monogo komnidad I am major shareholder. We have so many other komnidad shares. I am definitely interested in the welfare of the komnidad. I am not anti komnidad I am not a land grabber. I am not a komnidad land grabber. So, 
I will never do anything in the interest of the communal. But you must remember, what is Article 652 on Vatsta Tundra? Every five years in the city of Penjim, on the 2nd of January, a meeting shall be held of the delegates of all the Komnidats to deal with the matters of general interest to them, to foster its progress and propose to the Governor General some measures in this connection. That means, tumge kite problem zata, keje measures kit aha te korpa, sattara sam. So that means they will tell administrator, file process ko, respond ko. This is procedural matters. In a kind of that this is for amendment of the code. There is nothing which says they shall be consulted or objections invited before, consult, uh, before amendment of a code. Please understand, a legislature, whether it's the central government or whether it's the state government, can legislate without even asking public opinion. Tumi podo el astale bill zahatte, am sokani bill dita chahe sa pas kotta. Last time am objection dila jakon don't be spoil am to dila am kam dila. Mon style lockak basu bill kolo na am fokat debate solat ten na discussion am begin vasta te kit te bill te and magi am uber out that opos kotta. So if the government, any government can do this, remember this is statute law. When it is subordinate legislation like rules, the statute may say by previous publication, like you are building regulations, that has to be done, amendment has to be done by previous publication. Objections invited and hearing the objections and then considering them. But when it is statute amendment or statute enactment, prior consent unless there may be a constitutional mandate. Otherwise, there is none. So, Code of Komridad is not a subordinate legislation, it is a statute. So, there is nobody's permission required. Other, if Wenzi Vyagas, who wanted to show the House that this is the law and he has the backing of all those who have given him, I am going to give you a judgment of our High Court. This is in writ petition number 265 of 2015. It was filed by seven Gaunkas of Serula Komnida. These seven Gaunkas and the judgment was passed on 1st February 2022. Paragraph 2 Asato Angwaksta the petitioners who claim to be Gaunkars, Joneros, Jonkars and legitimate components of the Komnidal of Serula have instituted this petition seeking the following reliefs. A. That this Honorable Court be pleased to call upon the Respond No. 1 to produce before it the records pertaining to the various amendments moved before the Court of Komnidals, including the statements of objects and reasons and record of deliberations, etc and on perusing the same be pleased to issue an appropriate writ order or direction thereby quashing and striking down all amendments affected to the code of Komnidas listed in Annexure D. Agitya Watson now. I am going directly to Para 3. Para 5. The pleadings in this repetition in context of challenge to the validity of the various legislative amendments to the Code of Communities are also quite sketchy. The petitioners have not pleaded in precise terms how, according to them, the several amendments they have challenged contravene Part 3. Part 3 is fundamental rights or are beyond legislative competence of the state and state government has no power. In the absence of proper pleadings, we do not think it will be appropriate for us to entertain the challenge to the constitutional validity of several amendments to the court. Para 6 now. So and so, however, refer to the provisions of Article 652 of the Code of Komnidas, which reads as follows. Now go to Para 7. So and so submits that for the last several years, there has been no compliance with the provisions of Article 652 of the Code of Komnidas, since the meeting of the delegates of the Komnidas to deal with the matters of general interest 
to them to foster its progress and propose to the Governor General some measures in this connection has not at all been held. He submits that the various amendments to the Code of Pomdidal should have been made only after such a meeting was convened and held so that the delegates of all the Komnidars could have offered their viewpoints and inputs on those vital matters affecting the governance of Komnidars. Mr. So and so submitted that since this was not done, the amendments to, of, to the Code of Komnidars are required to be struck down. At the next paragra uh, paragraph 9 was, although we agree with Mr. So and so that the provisions of Article 652 of the Code of Komnidars are required to be implemented. They forgot meeting you, Bob. We are not prepared to strike down the various legislative amendments to the Code of Komnidars simply because such amendments or the proposed amendments were not considered by the delegates in the meeting that was required to be held in terms of Article 652 of the Code of Komnidars. According to us, that by itself would not be a ground to strike down the legislative measures in the absence of any proper pleadings on how these legislative measures contravene part 3 of the constitution or are otherwise beyond the legislative competence of the state. On such a ground, therefore, we cannot strike down the legislative measures. A other high court and judgment at 2022 on the law. To floor the house of Kitya Fort Matta. Do we elect legislators who will come to the floor of the house? It's an august floor of the house and make false statements completely wrong and then you get angry because I tell that this is the correct position of law. You're upset with me and making uh, this thing. You say sorry. You say sorry to the house and you can say sorry to me. I don't even care if you don't say sorry. Apologize to the house for making false statements. Don't try to take uh, umbrage on wrong statements, false statements and false legal propositions which you are saying in the house. Laws the loka, eslam dara dalda monu, assembling, foot marbak and oil and drama korpa, natok korpa bai. It's very sad. And is it only with an intention of trying to portray Congress in a bad light? You make false statements and try to say that only your party is there to save Goa and save the nation? Stop it, I think. There's a time and limit where you can play your drama. There's a time and limit where people can tolerate you. And I think that <coughs> if you are right, I will say sorry. But when you are wrong, I think you tell the, the whole world what you are doing is completely false. I also pointed out, Ayanik Sanglone, that about this amendment, that the government of Goa has the power to amend the code. Why did I say this? Because this is often debated. I didn't say that when Z had said it. I said there are people who believe. I, and I didn't accuse him, but he suddenly said, I Sanglemon code amend Kupra Kutuda last was I mean. I think he was not understanding, he was not listening to what I was saying. But what exactly you can hear, you can hear the <coughs> recording. I said there are some people who have this belief. And now I will tell you, there is a judgment which I said I had argued the case and I had won it. Tum kya dastolo, a very famous gentleman ashilo, shikali raukaloto, J.J. Rodrigues Mulalo. He was a very strong proponent of Kumnidas, strong fighter, very strong fighter, honest man, very good man. And he fought for Kumnidas. He filed a petition in his name and as the attorney, if I'm not mistaken, of Komnida the Shikali, this way back in 1996. He filed a petition and his lawyer was senior advocate Joachim Dias, first advocate general of Goa. I was additional government advocate at that time. I opposed that petition. Now please see that petition. The judgment is there. It is by a division bench of Justice Patankar and Justice Bhatta. Date is 11th April 96. And please look on top. Sri J. Dyer, senior advocate, and I am there as an additional government advocate. Please look at paragraph 2. On 12 December 95, respond number 1 administrator issued notice to the petitioner in view of Article 443 with Article 125 1 of the Code of Komnidas, calling upon it to pay outstanding dues towards their Rama towards staff salaries and maintenance office of rupees 48 lakhs 80,000 and so on and so 
for five years. This notice is challenged on the ground that there was no legislative competence with the state government to enact the Goa Legislative Diploma 2070 dated so and so and that the same notice and the demand to the petitioner Komdinad is illegal and invalid. The main plank of the Learned Council for the petitioner's argument that such legislation relating to Komdinad's can only be by Parliament under residuary entry 97 of list 1, union list of 7 schedule of the constitution. While it is the case of the respondents in the affidavit, that affidavit I had drafted, sworn by Angelica Rodericks, she is the mother of Sanjit Rodericks by the way, under Secretary Revenue dated 2nd April 1996, that the state can enact in view of entry 18 read with entry 32 of list 2 state list for the 7th schedule of the 7th schedule. Now please go to the last page of that. I won't read the whole judgment. The last page. Just see. Somewhere down. Therefore, just a last sentence before uh, when paragraph 14 starts. Therefore, in our opinion, this legislation is valid and the state was competent to enact it in view of entry 18 read with entry 32 of list 2 state list of 7 schedule of the Constitution <coughs> India. Therefore, we reject this petition. So, I have not only law, I have judgments to back it. I know what I'm saying on the floor of the house. I won't mislead. If we have a government which is going to pass a law, they have all the numbers. They have 33, we are just 7. They don't even require. They will listen to us and they'll do what they want. If we stand up and we tell the government, you have seen that clause by clause, the Komnidad law was explained by me, opposed by me on the grounds how it destroys the independence of the Komnidads. I have shown that you, can, you should not keep elected people forever. I have shown how that on one complaint you can suspend uh, an elected managing committee. You are not bringing substitute but you are trying to appoint your man in the committee. I have also shown other provisions which are going to detrimentally affect. No one did that exercise. I am the only one who did it. If I wanted, I could have remained quiet. And when it came to passing of the bill, I was there with all the other opposition members on the floor, on the well of the house to oppose that amendment. If I wanted to, I could have walked out. I could have sat down. I could have said it's not there. I didn't. Even though the government tried to placate by saying that they are accepting this suggestion and the revenue minister said that I will bring an amendment in the next session of the house, we were not satisfied with that and we went to the floor of, of the well of the house. So you can understand that there was nothing which we did to play ball with the government. As far as the agricultural bill is concerned, I am the one again, clause by clause, I am Dakoila. On agriculturist mon, Loka Dakoita lete goinkara benefits at I am Dakoila agriculturist mon. Can be anybody who can come from any part of India who is cultivating even the garden at the back of his house, he becomes agriculturist. I have even said that, that is, what is agriculture? I have explained. I have explained that agriculture includes building farmhouses. I brought provisions of the Land Revenue Code and showed that. So I expressed my apprehension that we will have farmhouse culture here in Goa. And I was very clear about it. That was not amended. I also opposed. When it came for a division, I stood with the opposition. If the Chief Minister asked for suggestions, if the government asks for suggestions from opposition and the opposition gives the suggestions and the government accepts it, I think it should be recognized as a victory for the opposition. One should never think, I did not take it as my personal victory. According to me, it's a victory for the opposition. Sadly, 
I think that is being torn apart to try to show I'm in league with the government. If I want to do settings, I won't go to the minister's cabin like some do there. Probably when he does, he'll have to answer it in the lunch break and do some settings there and come back, say one thing and do another thing. I won't do these things. But whoever does it will have to stand up and face the music when the time comes. I have stood for what I have supported and if my suggestions have been accepted, I think it's a great victory for us in the opposition and especially the Congress party which has been able to put forward apprehensions, fears and whatever the people think about it. Opposition is not meant only for standing on roads, having uh, processions, dharnas, rasta roko or making dramas in the house. Opposition is also required to give constructive suggestions. I have said that on my day of my election result that I will be constructive opposition. I will not want to simply stand up and shout and not be able to support what I cannot. And I think this is an underlying philosophy of the Congress Party that the Congress Party stands with the people. The Congress Party will always support the cause of the people not only in everyday lives but even the smallest of the smallest Congress will touch the hearts and minds of everyone and will make sure that Goa is protected, Goa is not finished and Goa is not sold off. Thank you. If the government accepts a suggestion on the floor of the house, do you call it ask a demand that I still want to send to house committee? Select committee. Select committee. According to you, what is the bill exactly? Good or bad? See, as far as the Komunidad is concerned, when you are trying to usurp the powers of the Komunidad, I can't agree with it. As far as the that uh, agricultural bill is concerned, you are going to allow farmhouses to come. That's why it can't be. It will be allowing a license to allow them to come. Then what is the reason for that Kool Munka Association to oppose it to pending, saying that it is danger? See, there are so many views I have been reading across newspapers and maybe some channels which I got time to see. They talk about agriculture making agriculture wider than paddy field because in this act of agriculture it talks only of paddy field. So they want to say wherever is agriculture it will be paddy field. You must know some history about the Agricultural Tenancy Act. The Agricultural Tenancy Act was actually meant to protect cultivators of fields. Subsequently, somewhere in 1975, Agriculture Tenancy Act was amended to bring even coconut and cashew plantations inside. That is not agriculture, we call those horticulture. So that was also brought in and there was tenancy also included. So all those lands also got. But now, if you look at this legislation, if you say that, see this, this is a very funny thing. This land prohibits you from converting a paddy field from selling a paddy field to a non-agriculture it does not stop you from converting to build a farmhouse because farmhouse I told you is agriculture you don't require permission to convert to a farmhouse you have a right to build a farmhouse in a in a agricultural land one of the types of agricultural land is a paddy field now if we accept the suggestion of the Murugankas or whoever have said, bring others inside it. I will tell you what to be the danger. According to me, this bill is going to give a certificate and a license to allow paddy fields to become farmhouses. If you bring more land, that will be an open charter to give all those lands also for putting uh, farmhouses.
you understand what I'm saying? There was also then, one. There was also one point which Vijay Sardesa had mentioned, saying that when you say non-agrich culture, why is non not mentioned as non-good? And that's what I said. No, that was my first attack because that's the first definition. Who's an agriculturist? I pointed out. In my first opening, when I start speaking about that bill, the first <laughs> definition is agriculture. I said the agriculturist can be anyone, not a goan. Agriculturist can be anybody from any place of India. I said that. You understand? The perception which was sought to be given was, "Hey, goankara protect goan. This is a bill to protect and for giving goan. It was not. I don't see it." How would you react on the Valmiki's message against you? Who Wangi is the one who wanted to save Ajmal Kasab? Doctor, when this Hominila bill was put to voting of the House, right? Yes. Who 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 stayed work out from those things? I didn't see. I went to the well of the house. Your your number was reduced to six. I honestly didn't see. Maybe you could see the video and you can see who's not there. But I I was in the well.